Deep within the climate-controlled vaults at Library and Archives Canada's Preservation Center are over 130,000 hours of video recordings and 400,000 hours of audio recordings of historical significance. Library and Archives Canada is mandated to preserve and to make accessible these recordings to current and future generations. The ability to preserve older video and audio recordings is threatened because much of the playback equipment that is required to access and copy content is no longer available. Finding the parts and expertise to maintain this equipment is becoming increasingly difficult. In many cases, equipment has to be redesigned in order for it to continue to operate. When the equipment can no longer be repaired, our ability to copy this material will be lost forever. Therefore, migrating this material to a usable standard format is a high priority. Video content is migrated to the JPEG 2000 file format for preservation. Lower quality MPEG-4 files are made for access purposes. Some of the video formats that have been identified at high risk of obsolescence and thus prioritized for digitization include 2-inch quad, 2-inch helical, 1-inch C format, and 3-quarter inch umatic tapes. Constant maintenance is required to keep our aging videotape recorders working smoothly. Audio content is migrated to the broadcast wave file format for preservation, and MP3 files are made for access purposes. Some of the audio formats that have been prioritized for digitization include cassettes, reel-to-reel -reel tapes, and acetate discs. May I also express my... Preserving our audio and moving image heritage is an enormous task. Migrating these fragile recordings to digital file format is the cornerstone of Library and Archives Canada's preservation and access strategy for this material. The benefit of this strategy will be unprecedented access to the material from anywhere for students, researchers, and the general public, now and into the future.